Look at this. <gasps> this is a new Bell of Skill style bait by G Crack. I'm gonna show you how I built this from scratch using the Fusion 360 and a 3D printer. And of course, you need a soft bait making supply. We'll start out from drawing a line and then we'll create the profile, the bellows profile from the line by making it a form. Here I show you some parameters that I'm using. Uh, depending on the size of your bait, you can change to a larger or smaller size, smaller dimension as you want. Uh, here I make it symmetrical. So when you shape the form, you can only just uh, move one side and you'll be symmetrical. Adjust the shape until you are satisfied. Next, we are creating the core portion of this bait. Instead of making a bellows profile, we make it a stick or a tube. Once you finish the design, but you don't like the way it looks, you can still modify it. Just go down to the bottom, there is a history timeline. You can click the step you want to modify and go from there. Here are the steps that show you how the gills or ribs are created. At this point, the profile and the core should still be two different bodies. When you do the extrusion, make sure you only select the profile, not the core. And now you should be able to combine all the pieces into one single body. Now the bait is basically done. Uh, here I show you how we can further round the edges of the gills by using the fillet. The final step is to create a mold. The idea here is to create a box first and then we cut out the bait body from the box. This will include the sprue where we will shoot the plaster salt into.
You can also add matching studs and holes pairs for easy assembly when you join two pieces of molds. I did not show that here. Now we are done with the uh, Fusion 360 and we are ready to send the design to the 3D printer. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and comment what you would like to see next time. Peace!